Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna also compare the actual price action with the price action over on Ethereum and at the end also we're gonna have a look of course into the DXY and Nasdaq. So before we start with the content, my friends, a little reminder to claim your $1,000 in bonus over on Bybit. If you put now a deposit of two Bitcoin for all the new accounts, so even if you have already a Bybit account, you can make a new one. And if you put there two Bitcoin in deposit, you can get up to $1,000 in bonus. So definitely go and take it. And for every deposit, you also get $10 coupon. So like that, you can do some free trades with that free money. So definitely check those links that you find down below here in the video description to get this bonus. And for all your deposits that you're going to keep here on Bybit, you can now also subscribe to this balance booster, which is giving you up to 15% in interest per year. And the next phase is starting tomorrow. So make sure that you're subscribing to this nice feature over on Bybit for all the funds that you're keeping here on Bybit, you will get paid with this nice interest. So definitely go and subscribe if you have an account here on Bybit. And for everyone that wants to try out some trading bots on their exchange, then definitely go and take this free 14 days trial for Bitscap. Here you can easily connect your exchanges like I did here with Binance to this platform and then just run trading bots on your pair that you would like to trade. Like this, you can also make some nice passive gains by just running those bots from Bitscap. So if you want to take advantage, then make sure to claim your free 14 days pro plan trial, which you can only get if you sign up with my referral link down below here. And afterwards, if it's paying out for you, you can subscribe to the $19 plan per month. Very cheap to get such a nice trading bot, which is very profitable wherever the price is going. I also did a video tutorial. It's also popping up at the end of this video. So definitely go and watch it if you're interested in trading bots and here you can also do arbitrage so if you're interested definitely go and watch that video as well and of course subscribe to Bitscap. and now my friends let's start with the content and today we're gonna start here in the one hour time frame for Bitcoin because after this nice pump that we had yesterday out of this falling wedge as you can see here in the one hour time frame we are creating another little falling wedge and also we are getting a buy signal here which is not yet confirmed but will be confirmed very soon and as you can see also in the one hour time frame money flow is again in positive so i'm very confident that here as soon as we are breaking above the 50 level in the rsi in the one hour time frame we're gonna see here follow through to the upside and retest this resistance up here at around fifty-seven thousand eight hundred dollars so in the lower time frames, we are starting to look again more bullish and I still expect here an attempt to go up here and test this 60K to $62,000 area to also fill the CME gap and then of course also test this potential new resistance that we have now since we broke out from the bigger rising wedge. So let's see what will happen here in the next coming hours. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see very soon here an attempt of reaching again the 60K area. And although if we go over into the four hour time frame, you can see that we're still in this downtrend, but I think also here it's very likely that we are coming at least up here to retest the 200 moving average. And if we are able to go back in an uptrend here in the four hour time frame, the chance is very high that we could go up here to retest here the 60K area. And here, as you can see, Bitcoin is still trapped between the 0.236 and 0.382 Fibonacci retracements from this drop that we had. So currently here, Bitcoin is still fighting with this resistance here at around $56,000. And I told you that the chances are very high that here we could create a potential double bottom formation and then of course see the breakout to the upside. But here on the Bitcoin price, I don't see that double bottom formation yet as a very nice double bottom formation. So it looks like that it could be denied or at least we're just gonna start to trade sideways here 
before we're gonna create a clear pattern which will take us towards our 60k target but if we now compare it to the ethereum price action you can see that here we have a very nice double bottom formation so here on ethereum we already had here this pump towards this next resistance here so the 0.618 fibonacci retracement from this correction that we had so here we are already testing this important resistance up here while over on bitcoin we are still down here and that's why i think that ethereum currently is leading the market and we're gonna see the same thing over on bitcoin that we are potentially coming up here to also retest here the 0.618 fibonacci retracement from this correction that we had so far so it looks like that Ethereum could lead here the next move also for Bitcoin and even here if we are going into the lower time frames. So once we broke out from this resistance trend line here you can see that we had an explosive move to the upside and right now we are consolidating in this falling wedge which of course is a bullish pattern and we should expect continuation. And here we can also do a measurement from the potential target of this move if we're going to see here a breakout to the upside from this falling wedge so if we put it here on this horizontal support that we in theory have now at around 2280 dollars the target would be very close to the old all-time high here so at around 2500 dollars and if ethereum is able now to reach this target up here i'm pretty confident that bitcoin will also catch up with this price action that we are seeing right now on ethereum and that also here we most likely are heading towards this 60 to 62k area up here and then of course we're gonna have to see what will happen if we are able to consolidate above here or not because also here if we do a measurement of this potential double bottom formation that we could form here this would also bring us more or less towards $62,000 and that is also the reason why I still keep up my long position that I have here since 59k so I'm still pretty confident that here Bitcoin will catch up with the Ethereum price action and that Ethereum right now is leading the market and Ethereum is looking extremely bullish here in the lower time frames and it looks like that we could have right now a bottom here and we're gonna at least go up here to retest this $2,500 area and then we're gonna see if we're able to create higher highs and continue our bull market or if here we are going to create a lower high that we could potentially then see continuation to the downside to meet our bearish targets. So for the next coming hours and days I'm very bullish for Ethereum and also for Bitcoin. I think the altcoin market will lead here the market a bit because although the Bitcoin dominance is still falling we are actually dropping below this support here of 52% so the next support is down here at 50% and as long as we are falling I think the altcoins will lead the market and a good example is here Ethereum which is gearing up for a big move again towards $2,500 and then we're gonna have to see See if we are able to create here higher highs or maybe we're gonna create a double top or even a lower high which could indicate that this was just a breather and we could be heading towards lower levels but everything here in the lower time frames is starting to look bullish again and if we go over into the daily time frame here on the Bitcoin, you can see that we are right at the bottom of the EMA ribbon. So we shouldn't close daily candles below $55,600 or below the EMA ribbons. Otherwise, things could start to look very ugly here. And of course, the other problem is that currently we're closing candles below the 50 daily moving average here at $57,000. So the only good thing right now is that if we are gonna maintain this support down here of around 55k and we consolidate in this area we are cooling off all the indicators and all in my own indicator you can see that right now we could get very soon a similar buy signal like we had in here in the past and that always signaled then a big move to the upside. So if we are able to not drop and close daily candles below this important EMA ribbon, I'm pretty confident that here very soon we are getting a buy signal and the next buy signal could be a very powerful one that could bring us towards completely new levels if we are able to take out these all time high that we had here of $65,000. So if we're going to see an explosive move to the upside, the important thing is that we can create higher highs because if we are starting to create lower highs in the daily time frame, 
frame that is a sign that we potentially are topping out here and we should then target of course our bearish targets which are down below first at the 20 weekly moving average which currently is right here at around 44k and if we even gonna lose that important moving average then we should target here the 200 daily moving average exactly at 34k and don't forget that day by day this moving average is also rising up so if you are selling right now at 60k and we're gonna consolidate at around 40 to 50k for some days and weeks also this moving average here will catch up with the price and then of course I don't expect such a big drop but at the time of recording the 200 daily moving average is here at 34k so in my opinion my friends we're gonna see here a nice breather to the upside for Bitcoin coming up very soon we had already a nice attempt here on Ethereum to go and retest these highs here at $2,500 for now we are again consolidating in this small falling wedge but I think also here we're gonna see very soon a nice breakout to the upside which will take us towards our target here of around $2,500 and if Bitcoin is also able here to push higher and start closing four hour candles above the 200 moving average i'm pretty confident that here we're also gonna reach our target of around 62 000 dollars and then we're gonna see if we were able to consolidate there or not and now let's go over to the dxy because as expected my friends we are getting here a breather and a bounce right at 91 dollars exactly at the 100 daily moving average so also here i'm expecting to reach at least here the ema ribbons which are starting here at 91 dollars and 65 cents potentially even go up here to test the 200 daily moving average again at 92 dollars so here the dxy is looking like that we are in for a breather and that of course is a bit dangerous for the crypto and stock market that's why even though we could still get a short-term breather in the crypto market we're gonna have to see what will happen also here with the dxy because we are seeing right now a bounce and the target is to reach again the 200 daily moving average and then we're gonna see if we are able to go back in an uptrend here in the daily or not because right now we are back in a downtrend since we're trading below the EMA ribbons but if the DXY is able to recover here successfully then of course this could be a big danger for the crypto and stock market so right now we are seeing a little bounce here right at the 100 daily moving average that is a very important moving average for the DXY in the past it was always a strong resistance and now it could be acting as a strong support and therefore of course in the nasdaq we're seeing a little pullback here and currently it looks like that we are trading below the nine daily moving average and it could be acting as a new resistance if today we're gonna close below thirteen thousand nine hundred dollars so if today we're gonna close below this price level i'm pretty confident that also here we are coming down to test the 20 daily moving average at thirteen thousand five hundred dollars and they're most likely then have a bounce to the upside because this important 20 daily moving average should hold as a very strong support now so for the stock market i think it's going to be depending how much the dxy will bounce here from the 100 daily moving average and if we are getting again rejected here at the emas or latest here at the 200 daily moving average but for the crypto market especially for bitcoin and ethereum i'm expecting a nice breather to the upside in the next coming hours so if you are trading that over on Bybit or Femex, then make sure to look out for a good long opportunity here because I think we are about to see a nice breather to the upside. But once we are reaching our targets, $2,500 for Ethereum and 60 to 62K for Bitcoin, especially once we have closed the CME gap up here, then make sure to put stop losses or take profits and then look out for another trade because it's going to be very important to see what will happen once we're reaching again those levels up here if we're going to see a huge rejection that is a big warning sign and then we could be heading towards our bearish targets but if we are able to go higher and create higher highs and of course all the new all-time highs then i'm pretty confident that the move here is over this big correction is over and we are back in our bull market and then of course we can target again our our bullish targets between 75 to 100k for now all right my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our crypto trading chat make sure to use the official link that you find down below here to get access to our trading chat and then go here to read first 
and by clicking on this thumbs up button you are confirming that you are a human and not a bot like this you have free access and if you also want to get my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals here for Bitcoin then contact me directly here on discord because a small donation is needed in order to get this indicator otherwise you can also just get here a YouTube membership. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.